Gina and the East End Block. What is up? Today, I wanted to share my Fantal. So our video is called, What's on my Fantal? A lot of this stuff is from you guys, and so of course I kept it. Of course there's a fucking shrine in my house. Of course it's on this vintage, Mark, when was this piano built? 1905 or something. 1905, gorgeous stand up. I built it. Sand, yeah, when Mark was seven. 20, he built it in 1905. It was actually seven. <laughs> So here it is. All of your beautiful gifts. So special, so incredible, so amazing. Appreciate you very much. So what is on my fantail? Number one. This hat is from my boy Eric. Okay, if you don't know, it's a little dusty. If you don't know, one of my favorite music groups is Bone Thugs and Harmony. So, Eric knows that, and he brought me this down to Long Beach at one of our residency shows as a gift before tour. So fucking cute. I mean, do you guys think it's a new look? J -j 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 <laughs> this skull holder with custom nipple tape eyes filled with homemade hot chocolate flakes is from my boy Swiggy Big Swig Bakes hashtag Big Swig Bakes Swiggy's awesome because not only is he a super nice teddy bear he's front row center every single not every single but as many shows as he can make on our tour Swiggy's there. Front. He's actually front row at every single show by every yeah. band ever. Any show he goes ever. to, every just band. for Swiggy. He's usually wearing a little Miss Nasty hoodie <laughs> or a Gina and Lisa and Black hoodie. When he does come to our shows, he brings us treats. And this is one of my favorites, his homemade hot chocolate. He makes us gluten-free brownies, cake pops, homemade marshmallows for the hot chocolate. He's like legit the shit. I haven't open this hot chocolate yet. I'm just trying to keep it forever and ever and ever. I named him Swiggy. <laughs> Underneath is this super cute bedazzled dog collar with a lock. My girlfriend Eva is one of our regulars in LA. Her and all of her homegirls will reserve all of the VIP booths near the stage and just party all night at our show and I absolutely love her. She brings me lots of gifts, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> she basically spoils me every show. But this is just a special one and so I thought I'd put it here and Swiggy can wear it like a little, you know, decoration and dangles. Actually, I put Bella in this one time. It's pretty fucking cute. Bella loved it. It's too small for my neck. I guess I have like extra muscles from headbanging so much in shows. Like my neck is thick. Moving on. This is the package of the first scorpion I ever ate and the last scorpion I ever ate. And you guys may remember it from Happy Hour with Little Miss Nasty. During quarantine, we did. What did we do? Eat really gross, disgusting oh, yeah. things. <laughs> We did a Halloween edition. What edition? Halloween episode. Episode. Whatever. And Kat and I tried a whole bunch of freaky desserts. And so I just saved this as a little, you know, memory. And it sits on top of these framed Little Miss Nasty Pretty and Kink Tour 2019 pasties. These are actually worn by the cast, and so there's mine. Two little X's that I like to wear sideways, and they're all crooked, so I'm not like very careful. I just snip, snip. These are Dina's. She likes to do crosses. I guess she's not very careful either. Talitha over here is a fucking surgeon with her crosses. They're like so perfect, and they always match. And then Jessie has just bigger X's for her big nipples. What? <laughs> But it was super cool because we all wore these exact pasties when we did our big tour announcement. We did a live on Facebook and then we peeled these off and saw our actual nipple skin cells are underneath there. And anyone who got our VIP on tour owns this, so congratulations. Moving on, Ian. You guys, this is not the first thing Ian has gotten me. It's, me. Nothing, it's not the first thing that Ian has gotten is, has 
has has bought in. <laughs> has bought me. A bought. No, gifted me. Get ready. Go ahead. This is not the first thing Ian has gifted me. With. With. <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> Beep. Action. This is not the first thing Ian has gifted me with. Let's try this all this? again. Start from the mantle, put it back up. Oh my God. And oh. moving on and action. Moving on right here, we have one of my favorite perfumes. Thanks to my boy, Ian. Viva Vegas, baby. Ian is a number one fan. He loves Little Miss Nessie and we love Ian. I remember in Vegas, he was there for one of our final shows before the whole thing happened in the world. And I had my little roller of Marc Jacobs, Decadence, and he's like, oh, I love that so much. And I was like, here, have it. And so then he gifted me with a big bottle a year later. I love him so much. So, if you guys don't know the smell, go sniff it at your local Sephora. Or whatever. Okay. I'm sweating. <sighs> Moving on. These are the original Little Miss Nasty guest masks. And we took those on our first tour within this moment. We used them in a number called Coming Undone by Corn. You guys have probably seen us rock these. Are they from Russia? They're Soviet era gas masks. Soviet era gas masks. So they're fucking legit. This poster right here is I think we snatched that up from the Roxy. It was the Gina and the Eastern Bloc show and the Eastern Bloc show. What does it say in the bottom? Toys for Tots. We must have donated money to Toys for Tots. I think we opened for Nine Electric that night. Is that the show you remember? That was the show. Yeah. So we just snatched it up because we're like, fuck it, fam it. This right here is a gift from our Russian friend, and he actually caught us slash met us slash was introduced to us on this last tour one of the earlier shows when we were opening for in this moment i'm pretty sure it was boston did we go to boston mm, worcester we went to worcester mm -hmm. i think he was there or maybe we went to philadelphia right mm -hmm. okay ever since he saw us he was like in love followed us for the next 10 cities and literally him and his homeboy would fly to our next city or drive and rent a car, but they were so sweet. They came to all of our shows, even like down in Georgia when we did some small club shows. They got to see like the down and dirty, nitty gritty shit, as well as like a big giant show within this moment. But gifted with a Russian flask. So, you know, we love this. And it hung out with us on tour and made it all the way back to Mikasa on the Fantle. Moving on. <laughs> this is the original 40 from the actual Sippin' on a 40 music video. So, <gasps> ta-da! Budweiser, king of beers. And then Mark made this decal and spray painted the 40 bag. <laughs> and of course, the nipple tape for the extra touch. But this is from Gina and the Eastern Block video. But I you might wanna, the, a little piece of history is that what? We actually did a, we sold 40s at Little Miss Nasty shows in LA. Yes. With That was the bag and the X's that they came in. And we would sell 40s at the shows. That's so badass. We should bring that back. Yeah, we definitely should. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Moving on. We have these sweet, sweet little dolls. You guys, it's Mark and I. Look at his curls hanging. Look at my big ass bow and my little leotard and Mark's beard. <laughs> I mean, how fucking cute are these? Let's see if I'm wearing a thong. Oh yeah. Mark's bandana. <laughs> okay, these are from a sweet, sweet girl named Mina. She loves us, we love her. Mina she, lives in Japan. Yeah, Mina's from Japan. Do you remember what city she's from? I do not know. She's super cute. And she has seen us in Vegas. I believe Vegas was the only time she saw us. She rocks a little Miss Nasty gear out there. Ugh, I just love her so much. I mean, either. She's also really good friends with Ian. Yeah. Because they both happen to be massive Britney yeah. Spears fans yeah. as well. So they kind of connected on that level. And then little Miss Nasty is the icing, the cherry on top of the whatever the they say. cherry on top. Moving over. We have another cute homemade little doll. And look, she's in a gas mask. How fucking sweet. 
This is made by my homegirl Natasha. She's an awesome artist and I actually have more to show you from her. So I keep her right here. She just like hangs out in our little Jesus candle area. All right, moving on. This is cute glow-in-the-dark Lego beanie made by my boy Derek in North Carolina. He delivered these to us at our meet and greet in Charlotte in Charlotte on the Pretty and Kink tour. We got some awesome photos, all of us wearing them, but he makes these cute beanies and it glows in the dark. And Derek actually comes to all of our tour shows whenever we come to North Carolina, so. I like to look out for him and say what's up. Thank you, Derek. Of course, I have like my perfume stash up here. If you don't know, I love Gucci Rush. Mmm. It smells so good. It literally smells so good. And it's red, my favorite color. Calvin Klein Women. You know, I love that smell. What's down here? Just a couple little barrettes I save and they just look cute out. One's called Bitch, one says Witch. Just little knickknacks. Let me file that under. Fuck it. Sometimes we decorate our little school desks in the Little Miss Nasty show. Boom, bitch. Nasty woman. And this little love stone. Honestly, I forget what type of rock it is, but I think it just brings me lots of love and joy and peace to my environment. It's from my love, Julia. Julia actually brings me lots of gifts. So this is not the first thing from Julia. But I think it's the most special. This is one of my grandma and grandpa's vintage candle holders. Um, I don't know what video I used this in a prop for, but, you know, something. And this is another prop used in a video. I can't say yet, or should I just say? Why not? Who cares? Why not? <laughs> this is going to be the famous goblet. <laughs> used in Little Miss Nasty's first music video, Hungry. So you guys will see this in the video and she's my special gothic goblet that I like to sip wine out of sometimes and so, ta-da, put her up there. Also you guys, I have some art near and we'll start over here. This lovely <laughs> piece is from an artist in San Angelo, Texas. It was our first time stopping through the city. We performed at this kick-ass rock venue actually called The Dead Horse, or it might just be Dead Horse. The sound guy loved Gina and the Eastern Block and he's like, hey, do you like dark stuff? And I was like, fuck yeah, dude. And he took me outside to his art van and gifted me this, this piece of work. So normally when someone says, hey, do you like dark things? <laughs> come out to my dark art van. My van. Normally you'd never do that, but for some reason she did it. I wasn't even there. <laughs> it was it worked out. Tour tour bus, it worked out, out. It worked out well. You're alive. Let's see. I love this. It's super, super dark. Yeah. Sometimes I have to like put it away if I notice myself looking at the demons too often. What's over here? A couple other gifts I have are from Natasha also, and she just makes these awesome prints, and I really, really love these. Look at how special. Here's another one. And another one. Under here, I just keep some of our posters around. This is a Little Miss Nasty photo we have for sale on our website. If you guys want to snatch one up, there's a couple extra group posters. This was actually our poster from Mother's House of Horror Tour. So if you guys missed that, snatch one up. Yes, yeah, so I keep these around just because they're cool pieces of art and Really good memories of. I mean, you also you're like going for a Dexter theme with that because that's your favorite show ever. Oh yeah, much. the Kill Room. You can't tell. Is it all blurry? Very subtle. <laughs> well, being, uh, oh. Sarcastic. And then of course the classic first gas mask photo shoot we did with Jason Little in Las Vegas. Actually, all these photos are Jason Little's photography. <gasps> that's that. And then we have a vintage base over here that keeps us company. This is sort of like our music area. It's like a wall full of our fan hole, our mantle, other gear. We just have a ton of stuff going on around here. If you like my jacket, I can make one for you. <laughs> I made it. That wraps up what's on my fan hole. And I hope you guys liked it. I just want to send my love and appreciation 
for you guys and just gifting me all these cute little things and they keep a nice warm feeling in my heart and uh, remind me of doing what I love and you guys and we can't wait to get back out there and see you again soon. Let's head out.